Hello guys, I welcome all of you to today's farmcast. And in today's session, guys, I'll again be discussing five different drugs of choice. And today, at last, in our last section, I'll cover one doubt that has been asked by a student called as uh, his name is Ritwik Patnaik. So he asked me to cover one doubt of his related to preparation and that is how to effectively use the revision videos and MCQ discussion videos in your preparation. So that's a, that's a fairly important point that you should know because these small things can also make a lot of difference in the result. So I'll cover that at last. So let us straight away begin with today's first disorder guys. It is CAH, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Now remember there are two things. If I'm dealing with a patient of CAH, I mean a person who has already been born in this world and he's living among us. Now for such a patient, the aim of therapy is replacement of glucocorticoids. So for replacement here, you know, you know guys, I've told you earlier, the steroid of choice for replacement should be similar to the steroid cortisol synthesized in our body. And that happens to be hydrocortisone. So CAH patient hydrocortisone. But if they ask you, it is a fetus of CAH. So the baby has not yet born. She is still or he is still in the mother of the uh, womb of the mother. In that case, guys, we will give a steroid which will prevent virilization. And remember, the more potent is the steroid, the more effect would be on prevention of virilization. So here I will not use hydrocortisone. Remember, which is the most potent steroid? Think guys, which is most potent steroids? These are dexa and betamethasone. So here the preferred drug is dexamethasone. So congenital adrenal hyperplasia, patient, replacement, hydrocortisone, CAH, fetus, prevention of virilization, dexamethasone. Both have been asked in your exams. Right guys. So Let's move on to the next disorder. So it's a bacteria, basically Campylobacter. So think guys, what is the drug of choice for Campylobacter? It has been asked a couple of times in our exam. Now remember for Campylobacter, the current drug of choice is azithromycin, right? Macrolide azithromycin is the drug of choice for Campylobacter, 500 milligrams once a day for three days, right? Alternative to azithromycin is ciprofloxacin but remember fluoroquinolones are given only if the sensitivity test shows that campylobacter is sensitive to fluoroquinolones right whereas azithromycin can be used empirically as well so it is most most active in case the patient is not willing to take uh, oral drugs or he cannot take oral drugs then you can go for parenteral antibiotics two options we have two options we have these are carbapenems like imipenem or doripenem, these can be given or an aminoglycoside, right? An aminoglycoside like uh, streptomycin or gent gentamicin can also be given. So remember guys, Campylobacter, there are four classes, azithromycin, ciprofloxacin, carbapenems, aminoglycoside, drug of choice is azithromycin and that is the most important point that is most likely they will ask in your exams. Otherwise, they can ask you, all of the following antibiotics are preferred for Campylobacter except. So that is when you should know these four drugs. Moving on to the next disorder guys, Candidiasis. Now remember, most common Candida infection is caused by Candida albicans, right? And albicans, uh, it can cause different type of infections, like it can cause uh, cutaneous infection skin. In that case, a topical azole like fluconazole would be preferred. It can cause oral infection like oral thrush. In case of oral thrush, we rather prefer clotrimazole troches. Clotrimazole troches are preferred in oral thrush. But if it is a mu mucus infection, like you know, uh, infection of esophagus, esophagitis, or cystitis, or vaginal candidiasis, now for these mucosal infections, we usually prefer oral fluconazole. Oral fluconazole is preferred or is drug of choice for um, candidiasis involving esophagitis, cystitis and uh, vaginal candidiasis, right? The last part guys, if it is a case of systemic infection, right? Candida causing meningitis or blood infection that is uh, candidemia. In these cases, think what is the drug of choice? 
now you know we always discuss for systemic fungal infection what is the drug of choice think guys think for systemic fungal infection the drug of choice is intravenous liposomal amphotericin b right guys so remember oral drugs uh, like fluconazole they are not effective and they are not much effective and they are not first line for systemic infection so candidiasis guys most common albicans skin infection topical fluconazole right like ointment or cream oral thrush clotrimazole trochas are preferred esophagitis cystitis vaginal candidiasis oral fluconazole systemic infection intravenous amphotericin b now guys moving on to the fourth disorder it's a poisoning and it is carbamate poisoning it's an easy one guys is an easy one all of you must know the answer carbamate poisoning the drug of choice is anticholinergic drug atropine now here one thing i would like to remind and all of you must be knowing this that oxymes that is ache reactivators are quite commonly used in organophosphate poisoning but they are never used because they are not active in your carbamate poisoning now guys we have come down to the last drug of choice that is carcinoid syndrome and guys remember carcinoid syndrome the drug of choice is octreotide that is to decrease the diarrhea that is associated with carcinoid syndrome the best drug we have around is octreotide it is the drug of choice it has been asked many times in future what they can ask you mostly in gipmer and aims is what if the patient is not responding to octreotide what can we use so guys there is another drug that can be used and the drug is called as telotristat telotristat T E L O T R I S T A T telotristat is a drug which inhibits tryptophan hydroxylase and thus decreases synthesis of serotonin so it can be used in case the patient does not respond to octreotide now even if the patient does not respond to telotristat the last resort we have here is high doses of loperamide opioid can also be used but that is the last resort that we keep in carcinoid syndrome so guys these were different five drugs of choice we had to discuss today now some students they they have asked me that i increase the number of drug of choice to 10 per day guys i am i'm not doing that why there is a reason to it guys why am i doing this five drug of choice a day podcast or why am i discussing only one page in my 100 drug and disease series there is a reason to it by doing this what i'm what i'm doing is i am breaking down your pharmacology into bits and pieces so that we will cover gradually and not bolus otherwise you have everything in your notes right so if you want to study you can study in 5 days or 10 days everything in pharmacology but that that won't be much productive by doing something right every day little bit by bit bit by bit and then by revising every other day or one week together so what you are doing is you are gradually mastering pharmacology and you will see that by the by the by the end when i cover this series and this podcast um these things which i have discussed you'll remember a lot of things then then you'll remember if you would have done everything in a short period of time so the aim is to spread it over many days so that gradually gradually you'll grasp things and you'll remember them for a longer period of time right guys so now i have come to the last part of this farm cast and that is the doubt that was asked by one of the students rithvik patnaik that how to effectively use revision videos and mcq discussion videos so guys uh, first of all coming to the revision videos what i'll do here is i'll divide the students into three classes number one class of students uh, let us suppose uh, for example i'm taking that uh, there is a student who had planned to begin revision from the month of october first of october and for this student uh, he he will be able to complete his course by the end of september so his course would be completed he has read all the notes so now he has his notes and now this student is in a dilemma should he revise his notes right that he has made or he he, he has seen and he has gone through all the lectures or now should he go for revision videos which is altogether a new thing now remember guys in this case i would advise right to skip the revision videos right and uh, rather keep revising your notes that is more productive according to me plus with your notes you can go for your mcq discussion however there is a small catch here uh, for these students if there is some topic right some topic which uh, while you are revising you think that that topic is too vast and you are not able to put them together in in, in your brain right for example i just given examples suppose 
you know that anti cancer drug topic in pharmacology is very vast right and uh, the number of question asked is uh, maximum is one question is asked or so rarely two questions are asked so if sometimes happen uh, uh, one or two days back a student asked me a doubt like sir i am getting depressed by looking at anti cancer drugs so what you can do here is just forget about the main videos and notes of anti cancer drugs go to the revision videos of anti cancer drugs which is hardly 45 minutes to 1 hour where i have covered only drug of choice and side effects and uh, that would be more than enough to cover your anti cancer drugs so that way see nothing can be perfect but you can be near perfect by doing these things so this is a selective use of revision videos for those students who have timely completed the course now coming to the second uh, group of students who have completed their course mostly but some subjects are remaining or some topics are remaining which they would not be able to cover before the month of september but their uh, revision has been planned from october now for these students now it would be wise to replace the main videos with the revision videos right for some any xyz subject which you have not covered and try to cover it within the time so that you can begin your revision in time right guys so for these students revision videos um it, it is it is like a gem you know it's like a gem and it depends upon how you use it now coming to a third group of students and even this doubt i got from someone uh, one to two days back uh, that sir i have just started preparing so do i have a chance chance in need now guys first of all i'll tell you something never count yourself out no matter whatever is the situation always prepare keeping something in mind that you are preparing to get a seat you are preparing to get a rank because being positive always um, it makes you work harder towards your goal so even if you are starting to prepare now right then if you are going to invest time then invest it it with positivity and for those students the third category of students guys for you guys the last ray of hope is the revision video so you can try to cover all the revision videos simultaneously do the q bank right up and uh, appear for the grand test and go for the kill right and uh, if even by doing this much you stand a chance don't get surprised you still stand a chance so take take risk guys and uh, so this is this is how guys you can make a judicious use of these uh, revision videos and now coming to the mcq discussion videos now guys if someone if any one of you is too much bullish on the q bank you have solved almost all the modules of q bank then i don't think you need to be bullish with uh, mcq discussion videos again because see do whatever you want to do but your revision of notes should not should never be compromised which means what how can you use mcq discussion videos let us say you have planned your day right and you cannot just revise uh, your notes uh, for 10 hours that, uh, on a trot isn't it you'll get bored so in between you can right uh, make a sandwich where uh, sandwich of these videos so you study for 3 hours and for half an hour you can watch this mcq discussion videos that's one thing you can do second suppose again like just like your revision video suppose there is a topic right which you are not very much clear about and it is more important in the clinical subject suppose there is a topic and you are not clear about how the mcqs are being asked here and you are not comfortable in solving those mcqs so let us say for example um oh, one is like arrhythmia right so you are not comfortable with ecg so you can just what you can do is you can go to the medicine discussion videos and see the questions on arrhythmia how how to solve this so the faculty will give you a feel so so what i'm trying to say is uh, uh, these revision videos this mcq discussion videos these are not the main course think about uh, what you eat right whenever we eat we have a main course then we have side dishes so your main course your dal and rice your dal is your q bank your rice is notes or the videos right so everything else like this revision videos mcq discussion videos these are like your uh, ice cream and uh, sweet dish so you can remember guys that these things they, they will make you they'll make a dinner complete right but you cannot fill yourself with only side dish so remember here guys the most important uh, thing is these revision videos and these mcq discussion videos 
uh, in your preparation they can act as a double edge sword right if you use them properly as i have said they can take your preparation to another level by sealing the gaps in your preparation but if you watch them at the cost of revising your notes or solving mcqs they can be counterproductive guys so that is why why you have to take a wise decision guys and uh, you cannot do everything and each and everything present in this world but you can make a compilation of whatever is required so it, it has to be case on case basis right depending upon your needs so guys that's all for today guys and uh, if you want me to cover anything specific like today's doubt in my next uh, farm cast then you can let me know in the comment box and i will try to incorporate your doubts in my farm cast guys so that's all for today guys take care bye bye this was dr ranjan with you